are all true stories, but this one is truer than most. <laughs> That's, that makes sense. Um, this happened recently. It's called Life Imitates Art. Or, I don't know much about brain scans, but I'll help you fix your computer. <laughs> <coughs> Was that a groan? <laughs> like, oh god, not this story. <laughs> I don't want you to respond, I don't care, I was making a joke. <laughs> Earlier today I got an email from a Star Trek Next Generation cast member who will remain nameless. This person is a friend of mine, so I've chosen the pseudonym Jonathan Frakes. <laughs> So I texted him and I offered to help him fix it if he needed assistance. It turns out I have a little Wesley Crusher in me, I typed. <laughs> then I thought for a minute and added, Ew, that doesn't sound like that. <laughs> I walked him through scanning and removing spyware and malware, mostly via text messages. This was hilarious to me, because the text message alert on my phone is the original series Star Trek Communicator sound. I wanted it to be the next generation communicator sound, but it's too quiet and I missed it too much. When I get the email, it's Chewbacca. So now you know. If we're in a place and you hear that, you're like, oh, we just got emails. I like to think it's Chewbacca saying in the Wookiee language, you got mail. <laughs> so everything ran smoothly, but then Jonathan Frakes was concerned about his CPU maxing out. It's using all the power, he typed to me. Then I swear to whatever God you believe in, this is true. He followed that up with, and I quote, I'm giving it all I can. <laughs>
uh, some excerpts from uh, Memories of the Future Volume 2.